Hello guys, Ronald here. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up the Kodi Media Center on your Mac. And some of you may already know, uh, Kodi is formerly known as XPMC, but the latest stable release of 13.2 got them. This video, I'll be going over installing Kodi on your Mac. <clears throat> For purposes of the video, we'll be using the 32-bit, as it also works with one of our my favorite uh, uh, add-ons, which is Mashup. All right, so let's get started. Uh, when you select the link below and you go to the website, it's going to take you to this link over here where uh, you'll see all the files available for XBMC and Kodi. Go ahead and select Kodi or just go ahead and select XBMC. You may notice my uh, icon is uh, Kodi. Yours won't be like that. I manually changed that myself. So when you get the install, just go ahead and install it. Drag it over to applications and let's go ahead and open up the application. Once we're here, what we're going to do is go over to Systems and select File Manager. And here is where we're going to add um, all of our sources uh, so that we can have our favorite content like uh, movies and TV channels and our favorite shows. The first one we're going to add is going to be Mashup. And the uh, link for that is going to be HTTP forward slash forward slash install dot mashup xpmc dot com you can go ahead and press done and then name it I recommend you name it mashup but you can name it whatever you like and then we're gonna do the same thing for our second source which is, which is going to be fusion our fusion source uh, comes with a lot of nifty little add-ons that do a lot of the work for us so what we're gonna do is http for slash for slash fusion dot xbmc hub dot com and again just may go ahead and name it fusion or whatever you like all right once we've done that we're just gonna exit out and we're gonna go to our home screen and what we're gonna do next is uh, go ahead and add some add-ons um, so for the for this video, what we're gonna add is the add-on installer from Fusion, and we're gonna install Mashup. Uh, and I'll go over. What, uh, we'll just add the add-on installer for the purpose of uh, installing all of our other add-ons uh, without having to manually install them or add more sources. So first, we'll do Mashup. All right. First thing we'll do here is uh, go to Repositories folder. And what we're going to do is uh, install the repo for Mashup. Let that load. All right, so we're going to install the Mashup repo, uh, which is the second file in this case. All right, once we've done that, it's going to go back. And we're going to install the add on. All right, and once that's done installing, we're going to go back in and go to Fusion, and we're going to go to the uh, Start Here feature uh, folder, and we're going to install the plugin that program that add-on installer file, and what this will do is add on an add-on installer uh, feature that pretty much prepackages a bunch of add-ons for us uh, to save us the time and trouble of having to manually install them or add additional sources. And if you check out the videos, uh, I have a playlist on going over exactly what all these uh, repos and add-ons do for you. Uh, so as you can see here, are a list of uh, repositories that are available via the add-on installer. Uh, and what you'll be able to do with these is just uh, have different uh, sources of videos from all around the world, from all around the country, uh, for your viewing pleasure. Now if we go to services, uh, what we'll be able to do here is go to web server. And then we're going to go to allow control of Kodi via HTTP. What this will do for us is uh, allow us to control Kodi via either a web browser and better yet, the app, uh, XBMC uh, Remote Control app, which you can get at the App Store. And I believe it's on the Play Store. Uh, since I don't have uh, Android, I can't confirm that. I don't remember. And then if you know how to use the universal plug and play feature, you can also turn that on here. It will allow your ex Kodi uh, media sensor to be recognized by uh, other devices like your TV. Uh, under remote control, what we're going to do here is allow 
other allow programs on other systems to control coding. If you have other systems like that, uh, they will they will recognize uh, Kodi. And then on their on their airplane, what we'll do here is allow uh, airplane content uh, uh, to be transmitted to Kodi. Uh, so if you have your phone, if you have Kodi uh, installed on your iPad, you can actually airplay your phone onto your iPad when you have Kodi open. Then we're gonna go to systems, and what we're gonna do here is uh, navigate down to input devices and we're going to turn on our Apple remote and make sure that allow start of Kodi using the remote feature is actually turned on. What this allows us to do is um, start XP and uh, Kodi uh, via the Apple remote. Uh, if you watch the other tutorial I, I kind of I will go over I go over how uh, to disable uh, the volume feature and how to make sure that only Kodi starts up and none of the other systems uh, Get started now once that that is done you can pretty much go ahead and you know either explore this area here you can add a master lock and things like that but that's pretty much uh, all I'll be going over in this video now for music if you want to import any music files you want to listen to music through this media center you may also do that by going to the music settings here you go down to the import music library uh, go to home folder Navigate down to iTunes, or I mean music, then to iTunes, and then you're going to import your iTunes library XML file. All right, once you've done that, you should have access to all your music files uh, from iTunes. All right, uh, once that's done, we can exit back out, uh, navigate over to video. If you have a music library, a video library that you would also like to import to the Cody Media Center, uh, you can go ahead and uh, do the same thing. Just navigate to the library, uh, navigate down to import video library, and go ahead and import it right over to the Cody Media Center. Uh, pretty much just go uh, either to iTunes or wherever you keep your files and just import that video library. Now we've done that, let's just go ahead and uh, set up our appearance. As you can see, uh, there's a skin, it's a compliment skin, has a couple of tabs, pretty much navigates, pretty straightforward, uh, fixing videos, music, perfect. I don't personally use all of these tabs, so I'm going to go ahead and change that. But we're going to go to skin, appearance, skin, settings, and we're going to go to the home window option. You can see here you can hide all the tabs that you do not want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the ones that I'm not going to use, which are music, pictures, and not programs, uh, it's actually weather. So I'm going to go ahead and um, hide weather and uh, uncheck programs. All right, once we've done that, you can actually go ahead right away and add your add-on shortcuts to the main screen. So we're going to add a mashup. I'm going to add one channel. I'm going to add NaviX. I'm going to add karaoke. And I'm going to add uh, YouTube. So this is pretty much a feature you, you're available so that you can uh, have quick access to all your favorite add-ons. And again, you have more tabs for all your categories. You just keep adding uh, subcategories right under them. And this is what it looks like. You go over to video, add your shortcuts right there. You can just access them right away uh, with the fewest clicks possible. As you may notice, when you try to do this, you didn't have the option. So what you're going to do is just go over to Programs and select Add-on Installer. It'll go ahead and uh, do this for the first launch. It'll create the database. And as you can see, it's, uh, you go to Featured Add-ons. It's a pre-packaged add-on library, so you won't have to add separate sources. So here you can go ahead and select one channel. You can go ahead and install NaviX. You can go ahead and install Sports Devil and all the add-ons that you like. Uh, as you, if you go over to my other video, you'll see uh, my playlist for add-on reviews. And then I go over each add-on individually so that you can see uh, benefits, pros, and cons to each add-on. And All right, once you've installed all the add-ons you like, you can go to Systems, go to Appearance, Skin Settings, and go to Add-on Shortcuts, and go ahead and set your shortcuts uh, the way you like, and you'll be all set up.
in your your Kodi Media Center on your Mac. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and you can watch these videos next. Till next time.